Hey everyone, welcome to another paint pouring video. In today's video, I am doing um, a tray pour on a Lazy Susan. Um, the tray is not on a pendulum today, uh, mainly because um, I tried to do this painting yesterday on a pendulum and I did a really terrible job and I ended up having to scrape it all off. Um, I wasted almost a liter of Floetrol, which was super annoying and um, a whole bunch of paint and I was really messy and irritated and feeling really down about the whole painting thing. Um, so I didn't want to leave anything to chance today. I really wanted to have a successful painting. So I just poured it by hand and it turned out great actually. Um, I mean, it's quite obviously not as free as, um, uh, the paintings that I've done with the uh, tray on strings. Um, but I think that the overall effect uh, was well worth um, giving up that little bit of freedom. Um, I'm quite happy with this painting. So I've discovered that um, having the canvas on a Lazy Susan is actually pretty awesome for a spreading out paint. Um, <laughs> it takes a uh, way less effort as I can spin it around and stuff. Um, funny story though, actually, I was uh, practicing my spinning yesterday uh, before I had dumped the paint onto the canvas and I uh, knocked my full cup of paint all over the floor. Um, so that was a pretty valuable lesson learned. <laughs> yesterday was just such a disaster painting wise. Anyways, so I'm like so happy that I got a good painting today because uh, it's remarkable how down in the dumps you feel when uh, the painting just isn't going the way you want it to. Anyways, so I filled up the, the tray more than I had before. Um, I decided that I really wanted a little bit more paint on my canvas and I just started pouring away. This is a much easier way of uh, doing this whole uh, uh, tray pouring thing, just having it in your hand. And it's a pretty cool result. So uh, this is one of those paintings where when you release the paint, you know right away that it's going to be a good one, which was great. Um, really lifted my spirits, you could say. Um, I'm a little nervous about how it's going to dry because the paint's on there pretty thick. I tried to spread it out a bit, but um, I was getting such great cells. Um, I really didn't want to mess the cells up. So uh, there's like a minimal amount of tipping that I did. And the paint is a little thicker than I would have liked. But fingers crossed, uh, it will dry well. There's very little water in this paint, so it, the crazing should be minimal. But we'll have to see. I'll keep you updated. I'll, I'll blog about it on my website. Anyway, so I had a little bit left over in the tray, so I uh, poured the rest onto an, another small canvas that I had messed up yesterday. And you can see that the, the cells that I got were great. I'm just so happy. Anyways, I think that's about it. Um, I'll probably uh, post a blog about uh, my mishaps of yesterday and uh, the painting today. And I'll try and get back to all your comments and everything. Uh, I'm sorry I've been kind of lax with that. I just had to take a really big break um, after messing up my painting so much. Anyways, I hope you liked watching my video. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure that you've subscribed to my channel. And also make sure that you hit the bell for the notifications when I post new videos. So thanks for watching this video. I hope that you have a great day. Bye.